Today's inspiration is brought to you by Nader Sabri. Let's talk about the future of growth hacking. The starting point of understanding the future of growth hacking is important to understand the evolution of it, to understand where we are today and where we're actually going to be going with this tomorrow. When growth hacking first started out, it started out as just code, technology, right? Developing programs that were able to hack. Then it evolved into what really made put growth hacking on the map, which was growth. Uh, sorry, which was code plus marketing, right? And that that had taken growth hacking to the next level. Then the the third evolution was code plus marketing plus X Y Z. X Y Z being another type of business function. It shifted from being entirely a technology driven. Uh, strategy to incorporating uh, business techniques with technology. So it would be, for example, code plus marketing plus operations or uh, code plus HR plus strategy. And so what it would do is it would become a cross-functional growth hack. And that is where we are today. And that is developing the way that the future of growth hacking is going to look like. So some of the things that are going to come into play are highly integrated tools that allow mass automation. So if you take a look at how it became a little bit more complicated as we evolved, right? We started with one element, we got to a second element, now we're looking at three elements that make it cross-functional. To make those cross-functional activities actually work, we're going to need highly sophisticated tools. An example I love to use to illustrate this is Booking.com from 1996 till today have developed their own testing tools that enable them to do about a thousand tests a day. And the reason they've had to develop their own tools is because in the time that they started growth hacking, um, there was very little tools that enabled uh, the cross-functional growth hacks. Now, a great tool to use that, that what I would call middleware for automation is something like Zapier or If It, uh, If This Then That. Um, they play a fantastic role in combining several functions. Now, I know I'm only talking about technology at this point and technologies that enable this. It's important to understand in order for growth hacks to work, there are two important elements. There's automation and scalability. Scalability without automation will not work. Okay, you need to automate and then you need to scale. And technology is the best way of doing that. And it has proven that. Now, there is a misconception that many people come and say, well, is growth hacking only for technology companies? It isn't, actually. Uh, growth hacking has, has been implemented in traditional businesses many years ago, even 50 years ago. One, one of the examples that I love to use uh, is McDonald's, right? McDonald's used to put billboards at very busy exits at freeways right before an actual store has been placed so that then once they get off the highway, they would go to a McDonald's. That is a growth hack of its time. There are other growth hacks that go much further back than that in military where a strategy itself actually initiates where there are many examples in asymmetrical uh, warfare where you're able to see a weaker opposition actually uh, win over a stronger opposition. And we've seen this happen over and over and over again. Now, the funny thing about these these cases as you go much further back, there was obviously a lot less technology involved. Uh, Technology uh, accelerates and amplifies the capability of growth hacking. That's why growth hacking is what it is today. So to look at the future, you need to understand that these uh, integration tools that allow scalability and automation to take place are going to play a fundamental role in making growth hacking happen. The other thing you need to understand is not just the integration between tools, but the integration of phases through the customer experience that's going to enable these tools to integrate not just horizontally, but vertically right through the customer experience itself. There are tools that are already starting to do this, but you're going to see massive enhancements. Another thing that you're going to see is a a massive uh, simplification of these tools so that almost anybody can use them. Some companies are growth hacking this right now by providing services um, to customers who are non-technical to enable them to actually start using these things, not by necessarily training them, which many of them already provide, but actually doing it for them so that they onboard them into the technology to do that. 
So that is what the the future of growth hacking uh, looks like. It is based on cross-functional growth hacks, automation and scalability uh, integrations uh, and technology and technology that works both horizontally bringing tools together and vertically working right through your customer experience from A to Z. For more information about growth hacking, innovation and entrepreneurship, visit www.nadersabri.com. 